Long hours and low wages, forced labor, dangerous environments. For years, human rights groups have criticized China and many foreign companies for subjecting Chinese workers to these type of conditions. Well, some improvements have been made, but critics say that much more needs to be done. CNN's Eunice Yoon has this rare look inside the life of one Chinese garment worker. Straining her eyes, Chinese worker Luo Jianhui stitches material with near perfect precision. These sweaters, sold in ritzy shops all over the world, are made here in China by what might appear as a sea of anonymous people working overtime. But not to Luo. I feel happy to work here. We're like a family. Luo is one of the millions of Chinese workers who migrate here to the industrial south to work at a factory like this one. These are the faces of Made in China. From all over the country, they toil in sprawling factories, on assembly line after assembly line. Luo sits here for nine hours a day, five and a half days a week for $200 a month less than the price of some of these sweaters. It's more expensive to live in other countries, but the cost of living here is low. It's kind of reasonable. $200 might not sound like a lot of money to you, but to this 30-year-old, it's a small fortune. So Luo traveled hundreds of miles from her hometown in Hunan province to start a life here and was kind enough to show it to us. Across from the factory, her dormitory. Up the stairs to one of the floors reserved for female workers, her room. She shows us her bed and on the upper bunk all her belongings. Luo shares the room with four other women she met six years ago on her first day here. But back home, it's harder to come by little luxuries like these ones. A TV set, an air conditioner, a hot plate and a cooker. Each room has its own washing area and a toilet. And just outside, the factory calls. Some of the larger machines are handled by men. One of them is Luo's husband, who she met here. Couple's housing is full, so Luo and her husband live separately on the single-sex floors. Occasionally, they rent a room outside the factory gates. Yet the two choose to reside at the dorm, where food and lodging are free, and send money back home to support their parents and their son. Who they only see twice a year. I owe him a lot because I cannot stay with him the whole time. I miss him so much. Also on Luo's mind, imperfections in the economy as other Chinese factories close down. I have some worries about the job market, but workers will get compensation if they're fired. Still, she keeps her head down, hoping to be insulated from a global economic freeze. Eunice Yoon, CNN, Dongguan, China.